Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Varnhold's Lot with me, Bring It Don. We're gonna do some exploring, All maybe some killing. And maybe we'll top off the killing with some more killing, if we're lucky. Also, I don't think I mentioned this yet. I really like the uh, ASMR's Halo. And also, the width that I made him, he's just so wide looking. He looks like a space marine with like the Iron Halo uh, relic. That's uh, the Blackstone's Ford and Inn. Okay. Could have named it uh, Blackstone's Forward and Out. Three people were sitting at a table in the intense silence. An old couple and a young man. They turned to you suddenly, making a little effort to conceal their dismay. Good afternoon. Am I interrupting something? Um, no, no, not at all. Welcome, dear guests. Please sit down. How can we help you? Would you like to have dinner? Or maybe a room for the night? Make sure not to order any meat. I heard it's strange here. I'm afraid we don't have any meat, only cabbage soup. And bread. But the bread is fresh. Are you sure you're alright? Yes, yes, of course. Don't worry about a thing. Then I suppose you won't mind if my people take a look around your inn. By the way, I forgot to introduce myself. My Garvarn, the Baron of these lands. I've heard rumor that guests at your inn are ra treated rather badly, but surely this is, must be I idle gossip. The old man looks at the old woman, then you, then turns his eyes back to Mygar. Um, yes, yes, of course. Please look around. I assure you, everything here is in order. Mygar turns to you and winks surreptitiously. Cephal and I remain here just in case, to keep an eye on everyone. You have a look around. And if you have any questions, I'm sure our dear host will be happy to answer them. Alright, who are you? Uh, talking to the old people. I am Mitko, Mitko Bragic, and this is my wife, Kalina. We came from, um, Brevoy. Wanted to move someplace new. And we opened this inn. Right, there's lots of passers by here. Settlers, merchants. We thought an inn by a ford would be sure to have a regular flow of guests. And treating our guests badly? Why that slander? I swear by all the gods. Uh, we, um, we value our reputation. Talk to the young man. Uh, so who are you, and what are you doing here? I am Yorgesh, a simple merchant from Restov. I'm on my way to Galt to trade. I've been here before and never had any problems. The beds are warm, the food is good, and the roof doesn't leak. Now I'll go see what I can find. Now keep your eyes peeled. Any evidence might be important. Let's do a quick save. We'll uh, run over here. Do some looting. Looks like, yep, we can interact with that as well. We'll head to the south first. There's a book on the ground over there. Maybe we can interact with that. I was successful in my Aha. search. Okay, what do we got here? It's an open book on the ground. You can swear the dog... Sorry. It's an open book on the ground. You can swear... The dog has been intently studying his pages. The dog has a large wound which has barely begun to heal. In due time. Okay. How the dog be reading? My first inclination would be that the old people are shapeshifters of some kind. The merchant's just here in the thick of it all. The dog reading. Maybe they shapeshifted one of the owners into the dog. Maybe there's another animal we can find. A little chest filled with bottles of sleeping potion, or at least or at least so the labels say. Okay. The back holds a Brevik Traveler scroll issued to Yorgesh Bragic. Wait, Yor Yorgesh was the name Oh, he was the name of the uh the merchant. He didn't say that he had the same last name as the old people, so they're related. The chest and the cart are empty. Hmm. Damn, I'm starting to piece together this puzzle. Starting to piece together this puzzle. Righto. Well, let's see what's up here. Maybe some shallow graves? No? Okay. That is not far. I agree. Uh oh. This is what I was afraid of. This is why I had a barbarian initially. I think my main character has our highest athletics. Yeah. No mistakes. Sweet, first try. 
Oh, we're going into a cave. I should probably buff up. Let's just play it safe real quick. Don't worry about that. Um. I crave for adventure. Alright. Just because it's a cave, I don't know what to expect. Rats. This will hurt. Enemy approach. Oh, okay, they got traps. Whole bunch of traps. That sucks. More rats, okay. This should do it. They hear more rats. I'll take care of the rats real quick. It's time to act. Pop these again. There we go. I spy. That is quite what a do I spy. Okay. Ooh. Good amount of money right there. As it should be. Shall um I don't think anyone Shall has trickery move. in my current party. We well, has plus two. Minus five, minus three, and six. Not enough to do it. Okay. Now I've rested since I memorized stone skin, so that's not gonna do me any favors. No secrets can escape. Oh, hey, I missed. Sweet. I am prepared. Uh, the old couple were killed a day or two ago. Their throats have been ripped out. Okay, so this is probably the original owners of the uh, inn. Cool. So I think I was right. It's shapeshifters. In due time. And they threw the bodies in this cave. It is finished. I mean, when you're right, you're right, right? All right. Well, let's check out inside first. I'm afraid that once we talk to him, uh, we're gonna have to fight. Fight for what is right as right, quick save. Quick he should have our highest uh, floor fun. check, right? Uh, ten. Yeah. Why well, quick that save? This should be okay. No, I can't. Too dangerous. Well, then I insisted, but but nope. I should. I want to get that. that to survive. Then I argued, then agreed to do it. Oh, it's so hard to decide Come whether on. to have breakfast or Succeed. not. Succeed. I'm not mad enough to do. Uh, what's the rule? He's just rolling very poorly. It's not a very high roll. It's not a difficult check. I believe in you, Zeph. I did it. There we go. The little chest holds a few empty and unlabeled bottles. Looking closer, you identify the last drops in one of them as a sleeping potion. And then there's the sleeping potion thing outside. Camping supplies and more rations. Did they reduce the weight on those? Because I feel like they used to... Weigh a metric crap ton. Yeah, I have 48. It's 480 pounds. Yeah, that's where most of my weight is coming from. I have to put those somewhere once we uh, get back to Varnhold. That's way, way more than I need. Interesting. Oh, a knowledge arcana check. Quick, quick! Else we miss all the fun! Check failed. Well, let's try that again. It's a wand of some kind. Let's shake a leg. All right, a wand which allows its user to take on the appearance of a humanoid. Its power is depleted. Well, that all right? Yeah, they're shapeshifters. Uh, clothes, jewelry, and personal items of different sizes and styles. You see blood stains on some of them. Okay. I feel like that's a lot of evidence against them. So let's go. Uh, have a nice little talk. Well, have you looked around? Have you found anything? I inspected the area and I'm ready to report my findings. Great, let's hear what my people have managed to find out. The old people exchanged nervous glances. So what did you manage to find out? I found, let's see, I don't know who these people are, but they're definitely not who they pretend to be. Really? What makes you think that? I found the bodies of the real Mitko and Kalina Bragic. Their throats have been torn out. Your guest turns pale. What? What are you? Really? What sort of a monster is capable of murdering people and stealing their faces? 
The old couple exchange glances, then sighed and shed the illusion. The creatures standing in front of you resemble humans only remotely. They are lycanthropes. Great. We, please hear us out. This is not our fault. Quiet. Margaret, wait. I have other evidence. Margaret hesitates, but then nods. So these are lycanthropes. What else did you manage to find out? I found proof that guests were robbed and murdered at this inn. A serious accusation. What evidence is this? There's half a box of bottles with sleeping potion in the kitchen. What use do they have for it if not to drug their guests? It's mine. I have trouble sleeping at night. Insomnia. You know, getting old is no fun. That's only circumstantial evidence. Can you back up your accusation with any other findings? Okay, so evidence succeeded in that nature check. I want to be able to uh, get this second thing. Um, there's a chest in the attic filled with clothes and personal effects that obviously used to belong to a variety of different people. Some of them are stained with blood. They weren't stolen. Well, not by us at least. I admit, when our guests want to sell something cheaply and quickly, we don't ask too many questions about where it came from. But that doesn't make us robbers. Well, that does seem to be a lie. Yes, Duval, it appears that you've exposed them for something worse than a lack of hospitality. So the drunken bard wasn't making it up after all. They really do murder their guests here. I'd like, I would have liked to hope that part of about eating their flesh would turn out to be a fool's embellishment, but it's a hope I'm quickly losing. Now, this young man is no passing merchant. He's in collusion with the owners of the inn. What, me? How dare you accuse me of such a thing? You can't, you can't have any proof. You hid your surname from us. Your guest, Bradrick. You're related to the owners of this inn. I am not. It's a very common name. Every third person in Restov is a Bradrick. This is suspicious, but doesn't form sufficient grounds for an arrest. Do you have any other evidence against him? Are there no goods in his cart, only empty chests? I suspect he came to collect the loot from the chest in the attic and sell it. This is just conjecture. Empty chests are simply empty. Emptiness is not evidence. Yes, this goes beyond mere coincidence. Will you confess, or shall I give you to my friend Suffle? Suffle nods gravely. I strongly recommend the second option. I am sorely lacking in assistance for my scientific research. The man slumps his head down. I admit it. I'm guilty to selling the loot. My parents have been living in this backwater for a long time, hunting and housing travelers. But they got old, lost their strength, couldn't hunt anymore. They didn't want to leave no matter how much I tried to convince them. The lands here are wild and travelers are rare. If someone goes missing, no one comes looking for them. So they decided to lure passing merchants into spending the night, only to kill them and keep their riches. And the bodies, they kept them too. They can hardly hunt, you know my folks. Or you know my folks. The man wiped sweat from his forehead with a trembling hand, or with trembling hands. But I didn't kill anyone, I swear. I only helped them to sell the loot. They're my parents, you know. I couldn't just leave them. Abhorrent. My guard barely keeps from spitting on the floor. A trial will determine your guilt and what punishment you deserve. Cephal, lock this Yorgesh in the attic. Just make sure he has enough food to last a week. We'll collect him on our way back to Varnhold. I'm interested in who the dog is. Meanwhile, the confessions of this scumbag Yeah, meanwhile the confessions of this scumbag have revealed much of interest, haven't they? This is all I managed to find out. Or to find. In that case, the picture is complete. My guard draws his sword. The lycanthropes begin to fight with inhuman dexterity. Stand with me. Oh, he's a werewolf. So we're a tiger, we're rat, and a werewolf. Alright, let's get him here. Now if him go over here to engage him. They should all be evil. Yeah, chaotic evil, lawful evil, and chaotic evil. So let's do uh, this. My guard needs to get out of there. This should do it. I'm oh. oh, sorry. Uh, do it to yourself, bud. No. This will hurt. Uh, let's do a haste. On your knees. Believe in yourself. Less should still be up. Yep. We're fine there. Uh, let's do a slow. Oh, you're just running at my wizard. Okay, that's not cool. I don't think he's gonna make it here. Um, hey there, bud. There we go. Oh, I got their loot. 
A Mygar looks sullenly at the bodies of the lycanthropes. My barony seems to attract not only settlers, but those who prey on them as well. We need to be vigilant, or soon we'll be seeing trolls, kobolds, and Caden knows who's a Caden knows who else. Just like our neighbors. Anyway, there's no shortage of monsters among men. As soon as we return to the capital, the scumbag will go on trial, and we're in no mood for mercy. Well, the bard can be happy. What's happened here will be perfect for one of his songs. But now we have to go. On the prowl. Well, I'm glad I grabbed that loot as soon as uh, it let me. Enough marching for today. Set up camp. Okay. I have been siding with Mygar almost exclusively this uh this playthrough. I might do another playthrough on camera as well. For many centuries, the dead Cyclops have slept peacefully in their graves. Where I sided with Seth. Oh, why did they have to wake up now when we showed up? Looks like an act of magical sabotage to me. And guess who the prime suspect is? Our dear western neighbor. Now that our wastelands have been turned into farmlands, Dunswan has become a tasty pie, and everyone wants a piece. Old Stump. I mean, if I had a choice, that's where I'd want to live as well. A place called Old Stump. Alright, we should have all of our spells back. Let's uh, I'll take care of it. do that. There's some shouting. It looks like a merchant. The middle-aged man is hastily packing his wares into his cart. His rugged face and sun-bleached hair show him to be an experienced traveler. He notices you and nods, but continues his work. He chose a bad time to visit this place. I'm getting out of here, and I suggest you do the same. You know, I know there's gloom in the air. That's why we're here. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? I am Juan, a merchant of Brevoy. I thought I'd seek fortune in the new baronies, but so far I've met only danger and loss. Trolls roam the Strike Hills, and the situation here is even worse. Drelov seems to have disappeared. Of course, the Sword Lords can decide where the borders get drawn here, and who gets to claim that which title. But so far, these rulers of the Stolen Lands haven't much tamed their claims. A fair approach. Let me introduce myself. My Garvarn, Baron of these lands. I've been called here to help, specifically to dispose of those monsters that are troubling you. You're the butt. Oh, me and my big mouth. By your grace, blessings on you and your subjects. I shall hurry home and never set foot in the Stolen Lands again. Oh, come on now. Don't be so dramatic. Monsters are a regular problem in such wild lands, but we've everything well in hand. Believe me, it wouldn't be in your interest to give up in the, on the market now. Though this very moment isn't the best time for negotiations, but if you visit us in the capital, we would be happy to discuss the potential benefits of trade here, and what sorts of benefits we'd both enjoy. But that'll have to wait for another time. No, though I thank you very kindly, but I'll try my luck somewhere far from this... But I will try my luck somewhere far away from the Stolen Lands. This place is... The merchant waves his hand in the air vaguely. Not good. Like it's cursed or something. Very well. Goodbye, then. Personally, I'm in no mood for trade. Duval, Seffel, if you need anything, go ahead, go ahead and buy it, but be quick about it. There's a battle in the air. Ah, show me your wares. I could attack him. Have a look, but please be quick. I'm trying to get away from here quick. Ooh, half plate of will. Plus two half plate, grants a square, plus three resistance bonus on will saving throws. Yeah, I'll pick that up. Then I'll sell all my stuff as well, so I don't forget. What else does he have? He had uh, this, plus two, plus two heavy crossbow, like in throat bane. Too bad. Plus six max dexterity. Can I afford it? I can. What am I currently wearing? Yeah, this would be better. Let's do this for my main character. Oops. It's 16,000. I thought it was uh, 4,000. What was I looking at? There was 4,000. The Ring of Corrosion? Whenever the wearer casts a spell with Acid Descriptor, that spell deals plus one point of damage per die roll. Chocolate ice cream. I don't have any chocolate. Let's buy some chocolate. Does he have chocolate? Oh, 
have to be under general wares. I have milk, right? What? Yeah, I have milk and butter. Where? Oh, there's the chocolate. Alright, we'll take the chocolate and we'll take... One more milk if he has it, yeah. There we go. Now we should have enough to make five uh, chocolate ice creams, which are really good. I guess that's it. Okay. Because yeah, that adds uh, plus three to all of your skill checks. Which is superb. Cultist Dodger, Cultist Warrior, Peasant, Apostate Dodger. Cultist Dodgers, Brawlers. Alright, Vetislava. Right, let's, let's go in here and see what's going on. The village square is noisy and filled with people. A group of villagers in black robes, led by an old tiefling, is advancing on a group of others wearing simple peasant clothes. Both groups are armed, and it looks like they're about to put their weapons to use. You see, Your Grace? They've donned the black robes. Their minds are under the sway of the Cyclopes. Please do something before anyone else gets hurt. My guard reaches for his blade. I have no wish to cross deal with my subjects, but if their minds have been stolen by monsters, it is our duty to, to protect the innocent. Are you ready? Uh, where did they get the black robes? Did they make them? Under direction by the Cyclopes? Something seems wrong here. I think you're onto something. They don't appear to be insane. Not very smart either, of course, but I see no mark of obsession. I suspect the Cyclopes have nothing to do with this, and our guest just wants to trick us into solving some local political problems in his favor. And I might add, he's doing it rather poorly. And I cannot stand bad liars. My guard, before we start swinging our swords around, it would be wise to hear the people out. You godless wretches, you ungrateful pigs. Zordash. I didn't look at him. Uh, for how many ages have your ancestors enjoyed the gifts of our master, one generation after another? How could you have renounced this faith? What a pity. But what did the master send our ancestors? Harvest, good weather, healthy children? And now what does he send? Dead Cyclopes. What will, what will he send next? Or send us next? Rocks hurtling down from the sky? No, you can pray to such a god all you want, but we found another god. Lightning's gonna strike, right? The villager is interrupted by a deafening clap of thunder, as a bolt of lightning cracks down and scorches the huge tree in the middle of the village. There, you see an answer to your blasphemy. I speak the truth. If you renounce the master, no other god can protect you. You are forever in his hands, in life and after death. Repent and return to your true faith. Isn't it madness to choose punishment instead of gifts? What in hell is going on here? I am Mygar of Arn, the Baron of these lands, and your sovereign. I came to help you deal with the Cyclopes, but it looks like something else is going on here. I demand an explanation. Oh, your grace, what an honor it is for you to visit our humble village. I am Zordesh, the headman of this village. In fact, we do have a little problem with Cyclopes, but it's nothing to trouble yourself over. Everything is already under control. Under control? Far from it. Your grace, you must save us. This maniac venerates Sharon, the horseman of death. He wants to feed us the Cyclopes. Forgive me for lying earlier. I was afraid you would punish all of us. I'm not lying now. He's a cultist, a real cultist. Why were you afraid that Mygar would punish everyone? You're not all cultists here, are you? Well, not everyone, of course. Just him, the darn headman and his henchmen. Weaving another web of lives, Vetislava. Your Grace, would you care to hear the truth now? The tiefling lowers his head. Oh boy, that's a lot of text. I'll not lie to you. We are children of the Horsemen of Death. Our village has worshipped him for hundreds of years. But we are not a secret cult. Everyone you see here, as well as their fathers, grandfathers, and great-grandfathers, even the lying wretch who led you here. On the last new moon, she stood alongside us in prayer. This is our faith. We pray to him, and he would help us survive in this dangerous land. But now, as it was foretold, the Cyclopes have arisen from their graves. His servants of old bring good news. What do these faithless wretches do? They turn their weapons against his heralds, and even against their own neighbors. The master has given us his sign. He wishes to reward us with his gifts, but they grew frightened and renounced their faith. Your Grace, we are no villains, and bear no hatred or grudge. 
We only worship an ancient and wise deity who has kept us safe here for ages. Please help me put down this uprising, and you too will partake of his gifts. Fear not the Cyclopes. Their appearance is a sign from the Master. They are only a danger to those infirm of faith. Don't listen to him. He wants to feed you to the Cyclopes too. I beg you, spare us from this cult. We will worship Aristotle or Abadar or whatever you command. I beg you, save us from this madness. I understand why this woman lied to us, and I have no wish to punish her or any who have renounced Sharon. As for the cultists who remain faithful to the horsemen, I am leaning toward destroying the cult and helping the peaceful villages find another faith. When there is a zombie cyclopes lurking about, the followers of such a deity cast black shadows. On the other hand, they could prove most useful in this situation. Think, Mygar, think. If anyone could help us get to the bottom of the cyclopes problem, it is the people who have served their patron for generations. We shall quash this uprising, and then find out what the headman knows. I don't want to make deals with these cultists, but there's a whiff of sense in your words. Duval, what do you say? Uh, Vetislava, are you prepared to renounce your ancestors' faith so easily? Faith is one thing, life is another. We pray to him like everyone else. It's not like we would stand against the entire village. But the prophecies, no one read them except the priests. Who would have thought that he would truly raise these monsters? Why good is a god... What good is a god who unleashes the undead upon us? Yeah, it's supposed to be why. Uh, why should we trust a demon worshipper? Of course demons are not like devils who will always stick to the letter of a contract. But neither are they like demons who would harm themselves just to spite the others. Among all the infernal powers, demons are essentially the most humane, just like regular people. They, prim they primarily care about their own interests. With proper care, they can be dealt with. Thank you, Master. That's... Thank you, Master. That's uh, just so. You mustn't imagine... You mustn't imagine that there would be... Oh, to goodness. You mustn't imagine that there were any ritual atrocities going on in the village. We've had no human sacrifices here, or anything of the sort. No one has been fed to the Cyclopes. We are a peaceful people, just like in the villages where more common deities are worshipped. Um, cultists, liars, rebels, you can't believe anyone in this rotten village has slaughtered all of them. Alright, since I am siding with Mygar this playthrough, the next one I'll try to side with Cephal. I'll pick an evil character. I agree with Mygar. Let's slaughter the cultists and leave the apostates be. As usual, no one listens to old Cephal, and then everyone wa wonders why everything turns to chaos. To arms. You're mad. You've no idea the power you've dared to raise your weapons against. Faithful, cover my retreat. I must protect the shrine. I killed Vetislava. We're about to kill a bunch of peasants. Oh, great. I hate Cyclopes. I do have stone skin though, so it shouldn't be too bad. I put us in a decent spot. Uh, let me go over here. Uh, let's go ahead and get some buffs going real quick. Let's get haste. A calculated risk. Oh my god, you're not supposed to be getting focused. Oh boy. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh, I don't want to scroll up there. Tree casts a long shadow. Let's do a bless. Alright, everybody group up. Or not. Um, I should have Grease equipped, right? I did equip Grease. Let's put this on my main character. Now he's still trying to cast Bless. That's fine. Um. Alright, let's get Bless going. Uh, let's go ahead and actually get that buff going as well. I forgot about him. Uh, let's uh, cast this on himself. Alright, does he have stone skin on? Good. He can go protect from these guys. Alright, my guard is down. What is he getting hit by? I guess he was getting hit by an archer somewhere? Uh, let's see if we can grease these guys. Sweet. It worked. 
We shall overcome. Let yourself open. You shall pay. Uh, magic missiles. Let the attack commence. Sweet. Mygar went down, but he's getting back up. Now let's cast some heals. There's supposed to be two more Cyclopes down towards the south. Oh, there they are. I am prepared. Enemy approaching. There we go. Hot dog. All right. So this gate is open. How far south does that go? I need to see how long I've been recording. I'm gonna probably finish this area. Let's uh. Well, is this the way that the guy In ran? Maybe time. we should go the other way. The merchant is gone. Good for him. I'm not gonna take everything because I can't carry everything because I have a billion uh, things in my inventory. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. I'll take the daggers. They don't weigh a lot, and they usually uh, sell for a decent amount, right? Yeah, 100, because they're masterwork. Very good trade-off. That is not far. Can we go up this way now? Yeah, these guys aren't blocking the way. All right, let's go this way. Should be. Horses. The horses. It's breaking the roof. Cover your heads. Alright. Let's try this way. Alright, let's um No quarter. Let's hang back for a second. Try and get some of these other spells going. Oh, he's in trouble. What happened to his, uh... Oh, they must have burned through his stone skin? No? Huh. Weird. Yeah, we'll take all of that. Can't loot those bodies, I guess. That's fine. Alright, let's get some heals going. Time to act! Oh, Smite Evil. For some reason I was thinking he didn't have it because he was a uh, a Divine Guardian, but he... He does. Sweet. Alright, let's uh, finish this area. Let me call it an episode. Everybody, come on. Oh, <laughs> Grease. Hey, isn't there a way to... Uh... I crave for adventure. There's a way to dismiss, uh... There we go. He can have his familiar out. All according to plan. Ah! Yet another obstacle. enough. No, just get the conjurer. We don't need to sit here and deal with the uh, summon dire wolf. We just kill the source. There we go. Oops, wrong key. I don't know what I hit. Uh -huh. 
A test of my abilities. A calculated risk. Let's take him out because we're okay. Oh, no, he needs to be using. What are you doing? Get back. On your knees. And you need to be using your cantrip as well. What are you doing? My micromanagement management skills have uh, not been great. Yeah, it's just acid splash. Why not? Can I talk to you guys? Barely survived, yeah. Yeah, I'll be alright. I was successful in Ooh. my search. How big is this area? It's pretty sizable. Alright, well, we'll keep pushing. Be a little bit longer than I've been uh, aiming for with these episodes, but we'll be alright. Traitors, how could you forsake your god? No! It's like the beginning of Skyrim. Uh, what are you doing? We're neighbors. We don't need to fight. You're apostates, blasphemers. Return to the true faith or die. I mean, he could have. He didn't give him a choice. He just killed him. Follow my lead. That's fine. Victory is quick. Yeah. Strike as one. Uh, yeah, let's put that over here. Alright, we're all out of heals. Time's not waiting. Hmm. We have potions. Um Oh, he doesn't have his new armor on. There we go. That'll help a little bit. It's the same armor class, but he gets the plus three to his, uh... Well, he actually gets more armor class out of his full plate. Well, then why did I buy this? Now it just feels silly. Now I can wear it, but it's not going to do many favors. Well, shoot. Someone feels silly. Do not. We will prevail. All right, we are out of um, stuff that we need. All right, we shouldn't have to cast slow. We should just cut these guys down real quick. A bit of fire damage, nothing crazy. Uh, I'd like to rest here. Weapons, spells, poisons. The art of killing is so diverse these days. Cannot rest A here. Shame Great. One life is not enough to master them all. Great. I'm always ready. Yeah, I know you are. I don't know, maybe that'll be enough. We'll see. This will hurt. Not sure why I kept pausing there. Okay, you know what? Let me call it here. And the next episode we'll uh we'll go to the next area. And see what it's all about. Thanks for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next episode.